Good morning. It is Saturday, August 20th, 2022. Today's day 48 of 60 days of carnivore diet. Um, I just got done with my walk. I'm going to take tomorrow off from exercising and then get back on it on Monday morning with my running. Um, had a great day yesterday and last night. Um, I had some baked chicken yesterday at lunch and uh, I just had a couple of pounds of ground beef last night. I threw a bunch of cheese in there and I think I've got the cheese thing figured out where it's not going to blow me up so bad. Uh, you know, if I do it every two or three, four days, that's cool. Cheese all the time, I stay bloated. So I'm not a bit bloated today from from eating the cheese last night. So I think I got that part figured out. Uh, now I just need to figure out my coffee intake that's gonna keep me from being bloated all the time. I haven't had any this morning, but I'll have a cup when I get back to my house. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna fast. Uh, right now it's 8.35 in the morning. I'll, I'll be fasting until noon or one o'clock today. I don't really know what we've got planned as far as food today goes, but you know, I'm just gonna stay the course. Um, it's really crazy. Most mornings I have to get up at four o'clock or I set my alarm for four o'clock. I hit snooze a couple of times and then I get up, let the dogs out, you know, get ready, mill around a little bit. And then I go do my exercise. I like to be exercising by five in the morning every day because I have to be at work at eight. So, you know, at the last, okay, last week it was six days of exercising this week. It's six days. Today's the sixth day this week. And but Monday through Friday, four o'clock every morning. Saturday, you know, I'm off on the weekend, so Saturday rolls around, four o'clock, I get up, let the dogs out, let them go do their business, come back down and come back and lay back down in the bed, and I am struggling to get back to sleep. You know, I don't want to get out and uh, on Saturday, I don't want to get out at five o'clock and do my exercising. I, you know, I wanted to go back to bed for a little bit, and man, it just took me forever to get back to sleep this morning. And uh, so my body is getting into that um, routine of up this time, up this time, go to bed this time, work out at this time, eat at this time. And I'm the kind of person who says routines kill things. Routine, a routine can mess up so many things. It can be so good on so many levels, but routines can, you know, destroy a lot of things and but I think with this the routine is the only thing the routine is really going to wreck is my Saturday and Sunday mornings it's going to be good you know during the rest of the week it's going to trash my weekends though um, and I never really got to you know sleep in much on the weekends anyway just because we do have five dogs and I'm always having to let them out and stuff and you know make sure that they're tended to and so I, I, I don't you know, I'm, I'm, I was usually up by about seven o'clock most weekend mornings, but whoo, this working out is gonna it's gonna wreck my weekends. But you know, it's just one more thing to get used to, and that's you know I don't have a problem with that. So one of the benefits of being off on the weekends and getting up early, and not being able to sleep in, is that you know, if I want to take a nap, I can take a nap, and I'm gonna likely try to do that later on today. So. Uh, so I've got the proper outlook on it, okay? I'm not being negative. I'm turning it into a positive. Um, so anyway, uh, we don't have much on tap for today um, as far as, you know, food or anything like that. Just taking it easy. I imagine we'll clean up around the house a little bit. I'm sure we've got laundry to catch up on. Uh, so it's just going to be a typical Saturday. It's supposed to rain at some point. So I'm... Um, I was thinking about maybe being able to get out and cut the grass, but it looks like it's going to rain. That's not going to happen. So, I'm okay with that. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to take it easy today. I, I did three miles today, and it's like I mentioned in a video a couple of days ago, and trust me, I don't expect for you guys to have seen that. But the other day I was saying that I'm just... Now, this is my second week of working out. So, what I do is I run one day, which is a combination of running and walking. And then I walk one day and I alternate back and forth. I take Sundays off. So, just uh, this is my second week of doing that. And 
Uh, I can uh, look seriously. The first morning that I walked, I was walking a 20 minute mile, just a nice little stroll, you know, moseying down the greenway. And then, like today, I walked a 1645. So, the just in the two weeks that I've been running and walking, my walking pace has increased by three minutes and 15 seconds. And it's natural, so I'm just walking faster. I, I, I don't, I'm not trying to do it, and I'm not getting winded. I'm not, I, I'm not losing my breath. I'm not huffing and puffing. It's just a, it's naturally happening. And I think it's fantastic. You know, I think it's fantastic that I don't have to push myself. Well, I take that back. I'm walking quicker because I have been pushing myself over the last couple of weeks. So, yeah, I did push myself, but while I'm walking, I'm not pushing myself to walk at a faster rate. And I'm not getting winded, and I'm not miserable, and I'm not saying, Jesus Christ, when is this run ever going to end? You know, I'm not saying anything like that. I'm getting stronger, and getting stronger is a phenomenal feeling. Now, it's not one that I'm not used to. You know, I, for most of my 40s, I was a runner, and I would run, and I ran, and I ran, and I did great. And... You know, it was only until the last, you know, two or three years that, maybe three or four years that, you know, I wasn't really running a whole lot and let myself go and ate a bunch of crap all the time. Love that beer too. And so, you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't stay up with it. So getting stronger is a feeling that I haven't felt in a, you know, long while. And it's really feeling good. Doing push-ups, Jesus Christ. I, uh, look, the first morning that I, I do five push-ups after every mile. Now, this is only two weeks that I've been doing it. So, the first morning I got down there, and after the first five that I did, I thought I was going to roll over, and Jesus was going to come take me. And this, today, boom, 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 boom. I'm getting to the point where I think in another week or two, I may start doing 10 push-ups after every mile. 30 push-ups a day. It's not unthinkable. It, it's not undoable. I'm getting stronger. I can I can tell it when I'm when I'm just walking. My arms. I, I can feel it in my arms. Like, Wait, hey, where these? Where'd that come from? I'm getting stronger, and it's a fantastic feeling. So, anyway, that's a long rant for a Saturday. Um, I'm gonna get up on out of here and see what happens today. If anything cool happens, I'll probably post another video because I'm kind of, that's about all I do now is just post videos about shit. But anyway, I hope everybody out there has a great day. I'm going to have a great Saturday. Uh, I'm going to take me a nice nap and have a great one. So, till later.